24-7 Sports, Steve Wiltfong, flanked by Cooper Patagna and Brandon Huffman. We're through two days of practice at the All-America Bowl in Alabama's number one ranked recruiting class, certainly leaving an impression on us here in the Alamo City, Cooper. Yeah, absolutely. I think it starts with Keon Keeley, who day one, day two, has kind of been the alpha dog that we've seen at both these practices on both Tuesday and Wednesday. And you think about Keon Keeley, then in there, Yonze Pierre has been wreaking havoc, a guy that we've really had limited exposure to, but he's been one of the best players in attendance so far. So if you're an Alabama fan, you're a little worried about Will Anderson on the way out, don't fret. You got uh, you know two of the best pass rushers in the country on the way to Tuscaloosa. Keon Keeley may be the most dominant pass rusher in this event since Will Anderson a couple years ago. Uh, Justice Haynes has also been terrific for Alabama, and Caleb Downs really showed up today in coverage. Brandon, quarterbacks also starting to heat up here through. Yeah, after spending a day on Monday, doing, or Tuesday, doing install, today we finally got to see them pull the ball a little bit more. We all knew that Dante Moore was the guy coming in. The UCLA signee looked spectacular today in the second practice of the joint practice, but Aiden Childs continuing his meteoric rise from a relative no neighbor with no Power 5 offers 10 months ago to now a top 2.7 guy, a four-star, a Pac-12 guy who we know is the best football to be played ahead of him, but out here, especially when they would run in the zone ring, you can just see his ability to be deceptive, to keep that ball in there as long as possible, get the DNs to crash down, and then he's off and running. We're also getting to see the way he throws the ball, how well he spins it. This is a guy that I think is absolutely going to flourish in high school or in college, and the way his senior year went, you're seeing that jump being made. We compared him a little bit earlier to CJ Stroud personality-wise, and that same kind of meteoric rise where he might have been overshadowed by a couple of Southern Californians. Now he's really coming into his own this week. Yeah, Dante Moore really heated up today in the 11 on 11 portion of the combined practice. Last throw of the day, rolls right, back, uh, back foot throw, dime to Brandon Ennis for a touchdown. Cooper, a lot of DBs have really flashed here through two days as well, starting with Jelani McDonald, who's going to announce his college commitment Saturday during the game. I like the Longhorns for him. The Longhorns have the top five recruiting class right now. He'd be a huge pickup. He's been exceptional. When you think about Jelani McDonald a little bit, this is a guy that really hasn't exclusively played the quarterback position. So it's relatively new for him. Today he matched up with Cornell Tate a couple times. He got the better of him, one of the best receivers in the country. You think about his athleticism, the track and field background. This is a guy who was more of a developmental upside type of guy coming into the week. He has really, really impressed. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's going to make an impact sooner rather than later at the next level. Malik Hartford, another guy committed, or excuse me, signed with Ohio State. It's been really impressive. Needs to add some weight, but in terms of the fluid hips, the range, the ability to play the ball in the air, two of those guys, both those guys, really impressed. K and League headed to Auburn, another defensive back that's been really good. Brandon, Jordan Hall, Georgia defensive line signee, been one of the more dominant players up front. Who else have you liked around the point of the point of attack? Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, the, the quarterback play for the West the first two days has been a little bit spotty, but their protection up front has not been spotty at all. Caden Proctor's showing every bit why he's the number one tackle in the country. And then Spencer Fauna, a guy that we've loved for a long time. He's been our top lineman out West for an extended period of time. Played some right tackle, now he's inside playing center. He's moved around inside, played some guard. Played a little bit of everything. Actually had probably one of the best reps of the day where he didn't beat Keon Keeley, but he didn't get beat off the ball as bad. He was actually able to hang with him a lot. And then you see him move inside as a natural tackle to play center is all, a lot of times out of character for these guys. He looked very natural there, looked very comfortable. So you watch him and Proctor when they're both line up a tackle. That's a pretty good tackle tandem there. But Caden Proctor, I think, again, is firmly entrenching himself at the top of the tackle ranking like we've had him. And I think showing this week why there's so much excitement about him in Tuscaloosa. East offensive line also playing well. Penn State offensive line signee Javen Williams. Georgia bound Monroe Freeling and Cooper. I know you love LSU's offensive line class. DJ Chester's playing center here. Talk about the big man from Atlanta area. He's been really good. This is a guy that's played tackle throughout his career. And you look at LSU, the pieces that they got coming in. So Lance Hurd, who had a really good week in Orlando. And then you got DJ Chester, and it's like, where does he fit? Will Campbell and Marie Jones, two guys that are in the top 247 last year. It's a good problem to have in Baton Rouge, but DJ Chester working out exclusively at the center position this week, and he has been really, really good. Usually, there's a little bit of a process in terms of the guys adjusting to that position, especially with the snap. There's been really no issues for DJ Chester this week. I thought in the 11 on 11 team period here to end the day on Wednesday, he was super clean and a guy that's been one of uh, the eye catchers throughout the week. Texas linebacker Anthony Hill's been as advertised. LSU linebacker Whit Weeks has been terrific. And for more on who else has shined 
in San Antonio. Head to 24 7 Sports, find our top performers' articles, and we'll see you in the Alamo Dome tomorrow.